Okay, it's Brian here. We're unboxing the seat for the OR2. So just taking all the parts out of the box, the seat back, the large box is the um, armrests. That's the seat bottom, I guess. And the small box is the hinges that go between the two seat parts. Quick instructions check. Right, so just laying the parts out, ready to assemble. Opening the box with the seat hinges in them. In it, I should say. And then opening the box with the armrests. Um, I won't be installing the armrests myself, but I will quickly show how to install them. And the main reason that I'm not planning to install them is that I think I might be able to use them as uh, HOTAS stands. That'll be a future video if it pans out. Getting the plastic parts ready. So first we want to undo the bolts on the side of the seat. Put them back in. And then you want to make sure you have the right bolt here. Um, initially I was trying with the wrong one. You need the cap head bolts, which I show here. And this goes for all of the plastic parts connect with this type of bolt. You just want to carefully make sure the holes line up. And again with those cap head bolts. Now with the seat back. And you'll see here, I go to install the USB cable. Do not do that. Um, that. That wire that I would have plugged the USB cable into plugs into the cable that comes out of the yaw for the LED control via the yaw rather than via USB. But you do need to connect the Phono style jack to connect the base and the top half of the chair together. Trying the material out of the way so the bolt can go in the hole. Oh, 
And if you do want to install the armrests, they just go in those three bolt holes there. It's up to you though. Assembled. All ready to attach to your 